Well, hello, Pastor Billy here. Welcome to uh, Seeking His Face today. Uh, we are here because we just want to take time to seek God's face. I pray that you take time and have time to do it sometime throughout this this day, but I'm glad that you've chosen to, to be here. Uh, yesterday, I uh, talked some about fear. It really has been uh, hot on my mind uh, here over the last few weeks as, as we think about our culture and the things that are going on around, around us. Um, no matter what you think about the, uh, the coronavirus and everything going on in our culture, um, we need to recognize that uh, we don't have to fear anything if we're followers of Jesus. And I just want to share with you why right now. Um, I'm going to be in Romans chapter 8. I'm just going to read a couple of verses. These were a couple of verses that, uh, that our family talked about last night uh, as, we, as we really just talked through some of the issues of fear that we deal with and looked at what the scriptures teach about it. And it's in Romans chapter 8. And I'm just going to read verses 14 uh, and 15. And it says this. It says, For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of of God. So one of the proofs that you are a, a an adopted child of of God is that you are led by his spirit, that his spirit leads and directs your life, leads and directs your emotions, leads and directs uh, the decisions that you you make. At least by and large, those are that's something that we that that our life uh, has in it. So he says, "For all who are led by the spirit of God are sons of God." But listen to this. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear. Now stop there and just think about that for a moment. Fear really is a slave driver because fear causes us to be paralyzed. It keeps us from acting when we need to act. Fear, uh, fear of the future causes us and keeps us from uh, in enjoying uh, life. It causes us to, to live with almost a, a dark cloud uh, over us. And so fear is a slave driver. And so he says, for you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear. So you either have the spirit of God or you have the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear. But, he says, you have received the spirit of adoption. So, the, the spirit of God, he calls, is the spirit of adoption because he makes us a son of God. A spirit of adoption as sons by whom we cry, Abba, Father. And so, if, as you struggle through these days, as you struggle through these difficulties, will you just remember one thing? If you're a follower of Jesus, okay, if you're a follower of Jesus, you can remember this, that you have received the Spirit of God, who is the Spirit of adoption. He makes you a son of God, which means that no longer do you have to be slaved, enslaved to fear, but you, he says, uh, he says, uh, have received the spirit of adoption, and now you can cry to him, Abba, Father, or Daddy, Father. So whatever fears you struggle with today, whatever uh, potential, if you're a follower of Jesus, potential fears that you've got, would you just remember this, that you are a child of God, and he has made it so that you can cry out to him, cry out to your Abba, to your heavenly Daddy, uh, and you don't have to fear anything because he is the most high over all the earth. Now, uh, if, if you haven't come to the place that you fear God yet, in other words, that you've placed your faith in him, that you've become in awe of him and his power, his awesomeness, his, his judgment, his righteousness, his judgment of sin, then today is a day for you to turn your life over to him for you to humbly cry out and ask for salvation. Uh, so I just want to say a prayer for you. Uh, if you're a follower of Jesus, I'm going to pray that God would uh, that God would help you to remember that you do not have to have that spirit of slavery and that spirit of fear uh, because you have the spirit of adoption and you can just cry out to your your heavenly daddy. But if you're here, if you're watching and and that's not you, I'm going to pray that, uh, that God would lead you uh, to cry out to Him humbly uh, for, your sal for salvation. So let me lead us in prayer, okay? 
Uh, Father, I want to bless your name today. God, I praise you because you are our Heavenly Father. God, you are a good Father. Uh, you provide good things for your people, Lord, and for your children. I praise you for your Spirit, who is the heavenly, uh, who, who is the Spirit of adoption. Um, God, I praise you that we can come to you as our Daddy right now, as our Heavenly Father, who, who cares deeply about us. Lord, forgive us. Lord, forgive me for living in the spirit of fear and uh, the spirit of slavery to fear. God, thank you that you have set us free uh, from fear and that no longer do we have to have to fear judgment, Lord, and no longer do we have to fear the things of this world, but we can trust in you, God. God, but help us to do that. Help us to cry out. I pray for the people who are watching this. I ask God that you'd help them to cry out to you today. And Father, for those who do not know you, Lord, maybe they think they do, or, uh, but they don't, or maybe they know they don't. Father, I pray that right now you would give them, uh, open their hearts uh, to be humble and broken and cry out to you for salvation, that they might become spirit, uh, become uh, children of yours, um, have the spirit of adoption and cry out to you in this moment in repentance and confession. Lord, we bless your name. There's none like you, God, and it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, once again, thanks for seeking his face with me. Uh, with me today. If this has been uh, encouraging or helpful to you, I just once again want to encourage you to uh, to like it, uh, to let us know, um, and also to share it, share it with somebody uh, who you think might find some encouragement in it. Uh, remember, feast well on God's Word. Uh, we do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So feast well on His Word today, everybody. God bless you. Bye-bye.